To ignite or combust a substance means to initiate a chemical reaction between that substance and oxygen, resulting in the formation of new substances along with the release of heat and light. This process is commonly referred to as combustion or a chemical reaction, and it indicates that the substance being combusted undergoes oxidation. For example, when carbon-based materials such as coal or wood are combusted, they undergo a chemical reaction with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water, which are new substances. The heat and light emitted during this process manifest as flames, which are the byproduct of carbon combustion. Furthermore, combustion typically occurs in the presence of oxygen. Without oxygen, combustion cannot take place. Combustion occurs in various ways in our daily lives, such as the burning of gas in stoves or furnaces, or the combustion of fuel in vehicles. The statement that new substances are formed means that the existing substances undergo chemical changes through oxidation during combustion. That's correct. The statement, new substances are formed, means that the substances undergo combustion or a chemical reaction, leading to chemical changes in the existing substances and the creation of new substances. For example, when coal combusts, the carbon within the coal undergoes a chemical reaction with oxygen, resulting in the formation of carbon dioxide and water, which are new substances. Another example is the evaporation of a solution containing water and sodium chloride salt. As the water evaporates, it disappears, leaving behind only sodium chloride as a new substance. In this way, during a chemical reaction, the original substances undergo chemical transformations, and new substances are created. This is why combustion or a chemical reaction can be understood as a phenomenon associated with the oxidation of the original substances. That's correct. In the study of combustion, there are explanations that describe flames as a type of gas formed by the combination of combustible materials and oxygen. Combustion is taught as an oxidation reaction where combustible materials and oxygen combine, resulting in the emission of light and heat. Yes, that's correct. Flames are a result of combustion reactions, specifically flame reactions. In general, flames occur when combustible materials and oxygen are present. For example, in a pipe with gas and air inside and both ends open, combustion can occur when the gas mixes with the air, leading to the chemical combination of combustible materials and oxygen, resulting in heat and light being generated. During combustion reactions, combustible materials and oxygen undergo an oxidation reaction. This oxidation reaction is a type of chemical reaction where oxygen molecules combine with other atoms or molecules to form larger molecules or compounds. As new compounds are formed in this chemical reaction, energy is released in the form of light and heat. Therefore, combustion reactions can be described as oxidation reactions where combustible materials and oxygen meet to emit light and heat.